Hey guys, it's John here from Sunny Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna check out a brand new pedal from Blackstar Amplification, the Department 10 Boost. Now this is not another tube screamer like Boost pedal. This is actually a tube boost pedal. So it does have an actual tube inside of it. So it has an ECC 83 triode inside of it running at 250 volts for that true tube tone. The goal of this pedal is to enable you to boost your amplifier with a natural tube tone. So with all the warmth and dynamics that are associated with tubes. And it also lets you retain the natural character of your amp, which is also kind of cool. This pedal has three simple controls. We have the boost control over here. Now obviously this control lets you add more gain and level. And then we have the low and high shelf controls for this James Baxendal passive EQ. So these EQ shelves are supposed to sound very natural, also retaining the natural sound of your amplifier. This pedal has a very low noise class A design that is very responsive to your playing. And I can indeed say that this pedal is very low noise. So that's a great thing as well. It's also worth mentioning that this pedal has a built-in buffer. So that's great if you're running very long cables or running many pedals in one chain. So that can really help to prevent degradation of your tone as well. So yeah, it's a quite simple pedal, very sturdy as well. It does come with a power supply. And what I also really like about this pedal is how sort of smooth and classy the knobs feel to twist. Now let's put this pedal to the test. First, I'm gonna try some sort of mid-gain crunch rock tones using my Blackstar HT Club 50 amplifier. I'm gonna set it to the overdrive channel on the lead off voicing with fairly low gain settings. So kind of vintage Marshall JCM 800 territory. And then I'm gonna use the boost pedal to add more gain and girth. And I will turn the pedal on and off during the segment so you can really hear the difference. I will be using my ESP LTD Phoenix Deluxe 1000 guitar for all the clips in this video using the bridge pickup, which is a Seymour Duncan Custom. All the amps will be fed into my Red 7 Amp Central reactive load, which is an excellent reactive load. And that signal will be fed into York Audio impulse responses. And for this first clip, I'm gonna use the York Audio MRSH 412 M25 cabinet, which is based on a Marshall 4x12 cabinet loaded with greenbacks. And this first clip uses the Mix01 mic blend file. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that right now. Very cool! I really like how this pedal is unique in comparison to all my other boost pedals. It just seems to add more of what the amplifier already has in terms of gain. And I do think that it does a pretty good job at retaining the character of the actual amplifier. This will come in very handy with low to mid gain amplifiers that just need a little bit more push and more gain. And the saturation definitely is very warm and tube like. Well, it is an actual tube, so it makes sense. But yeah, it sounds fat and warm indeed. Love it. Now for fun, let's also try this pedal with a more high gain tone using my PV Invective 120 amplifier. I'm gonna use the crunch channel with the built-in boost off, of course. Now I'm not expecting this pedal to make that amplifier sound more brutal and aggressive like your typical metal boost pedals. I'm just expecting it to add more gain in an organic way, just as it did with the Blackstar. Same setup as before, but this time I'm using the York Audio MES412 Trad package which of course is based on a Mesa Boogie traditional 4x12 cabinet loaded with V30s. And I'm on the Mic Mix 01 file again. Here we go.
great! Just as I expected, more juice and more gain and fatness. Now I honestly don't think that this pedal is at its very best with a very high gain amplifier since those types of amps already have plenty of gain usually. But having said that, I think that it did a great job at just adding more juice and gain. I imagine that this pedal will also work very well with sort of stoner and grunge tones. Now I'm gonna run some riffs through the clean channel of my Blackstar HD Club 50, and then I will turn the pedal on and off and twist some knobs in real time so you can hear how all the controls react and how they all sound and respond. And this is basically the same setup as the first clip, amp, guitar, and IR wise. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. I think this is a great pedal indeed, especially for adding more gain and push to your low to mid gain amplifiers. It's basically like adding actual tube gain stages in front of your amplifier to enhance what's already there in a natural way. So yeah, I think that it simply does a great job at that. Well done, Blackstar. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a subscribe as that really helps the channel out and I'd hugely appreciate that. Also, feel free to drop a comment down below to let me know your thoughts on this awesome pedal. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very, very soon. Cheers.